In the intricate ballet of life, navigating relationships requires a touch as light as a feather and a mind as sharp as a tack. Tact, that elusive quality, becomes the very foundation of this dance. It allows us to express ourselves with honesty while maintaining respect for others, fostering connection instead of creating conflict. Because, folks, tact is the art of being discerning and sensitive in your words and actions, ensuring you get your point across effectively without causing offense or unnecessary conflict. It's about understanding that the world isn't a monolith of identical viewpoints and navigating those differences with respect. The allure of never alienating anyone on purpose is undeniable. Building strong, positive relationships brings personal and professional benefits. However, this pursuit shouldn't morph into people-pleasing or sacrificing our values. Tact isn't about blind agreement, it's about acknowledging and navigating differences with grace. While some might believe that complete honesty, regardless of delivery, is the best policy, Tact argues that honesty can be delivered in a way that fosters understanding rather than defensiveness. Consider a friend who has chosen a questionable outfit. Brutally pointing out every flaw might be honest, but a tactful approach might involve offering a gentle suggestion, perhaps mentioning a different outfit that would flatter them more. The outcome? A friend who feels supported, not criticized. Tact fosters a safe space for open communication. By choosing our words carefully, we encourage others to express themselves freely, fostering trust and understanding. This doesn't mean shying away from difficult conversations. Tact allows us to address sensitive topics with empathy and respect, focusing on the issue at hand rather than personal attacks. Tact doesn't equate to inauthenticity. It's about presenting your opinions in a way that acknowledges the other person's perspective. Imagine a heated debate about politics. A tactful participant wouldn't resort to personal attacks, but might instead focus on finding common ground and respectfully highlighting the strengths of their opposing viewpoint before presenting their own. This approach fosters productive dialogue rather than shutting down conversation. Furthermore, tact isn't a one-way street. It requires the ability to interpret others' cues and adjust our communication accordingly. A colleague overwhelmed with work might appreciate a concise email rather than a lengthy, detailed one. Recognizing these nuances strengthens our ability to connect and build rapport. Of course, aiming to never alienate anyone on purpose doesn't mean becoming a doormat. There will be times when standing up for your principles is necessary, even if it risks disagreement. However, even in these situations, tact can still be employed. By focusing on the issue, not the person and outlining your position calmly and logically, you increase the chances of a civil exchange and potentially even changing the other person's mind. Ultimately, tact is a skill that benefits everyone. It fosters stronger relationships, builds trust and allows for open communication. It acknowledges the complexities of human interaction and allows us to navigate them with grace. In a world rife with conflict, Tact becomes a powerful tool for fostering understanding and creating a more civil society. Life isn't a popularity contest. There will be many times when disagreement is inevitable. However, with tact, we can disagree respectfully. We can acknowledge the other person's perspective and explain our own without resorting to harsh criticism. So, the next time you find yourself in a potentially awkward situation, remember the art of tact. Ultimately, tact isn't a superpower. It's a skill honed through practice. Choose your words carefully, by being mindful of our words and their impact. Consider the other person's perspective, actively listen and prioritize respect and focus on finding common ground. You'll be surprised at how much smoother the path becomes. We can navigate the delicate dance of relationships with grace. In doing so, we foster connections built on mutual understanding and pave the way for a more harmonious life. Please, tell me what you think, and how you feel about this issue. Analyze it, brainstorm it, debate it and if you like it, share it. Thank you for watching, I truly and highly appreciate you, and God bless you.